Even though the NYPD commissioner had to resign because of corruption and the former NYPD cop and current mayor and most of his inner circle are currently or soon to be under federal investigation for corruption, the NYPD wants to make sure that summer in New York goes out with a bang and another bang and another bang and another bang. The NYPD shot a whole bunch of people is where that joke is going. And you've probably heard the story already, but a guy evades the subway fare in New York City, something that happens thousands of times a day. But this time, a few cops saw him and they gave chase. Gotta get that guy. Gotta pay the fare. So they chased him down and as he's jumping on to the train, they tase him or try to tase him. Doesn't stop him, in fact, just makes him angry. He turns around, jumps off the train back onto the platform, allegedly with a knife. Except now the NYPD can't find the knife. They say it was stolen from the crime scene. But also, allegedly, the knife was something that is uh, legal to own, certainly not legal to threaten people with. And I know some people will say, well, he, he could have hurt somebody. What were they going to do? He could have hurt somebody. The funny thing is, and not funny, haha, -ha, but he didn't hurt anybody. The cops, on the other hand, apparently closed their eyes and just let off a whole bunch of shots hit the guy hit an innocent bystander hit another innocent bystander and hit a cop all over two dollars and ninety cents that's subway fare in new york city which is absurd by the way hopefully that's like for a month maybe even a year two dollars and ninety cents one of my foundational beliefs is that public transportation should be free I will go to fisticuffs over that belief. We already pay for it. Make it free or $2.90 a year. That would be fine. But, you know, NYPD cost $11 billion last year, so you got to get that money back somehow. Also, they spent more money directly on trying to stop fare evaders than it would have cost to just pay everyone's fare. But NYPD wasn't done there. In fact, uh, this was from February, but a, a video just came out of the NYPD beating the piss out of a man working at a homeless shelter for doing his job and following his boss's orders. This is what happens when you let cops run the city. This is what happens when cops have no accountability whatsoever. This is what happens when you back the blue. You get black and blue. Here is a photo of Mayor Eric Adams and one of his best friends, just because.